welcome to Olympic National Park. Park number? 25. 25, that's right. We're Tim and Ann. Come along with us as we spend our weeks raising three kids, working and homeschooling, all while traveling this wonderful country in our Alliance Delta travel trailer. Ever since we stumbled into this lifestyle, our motto has been, when God closes a door, somewhere he opens a window. This week, we're in Washington State to see if we can explore all four parts of Olympic National Park. background information just like we do everything but so far we've gotten here went to the visitor center got the junior ranger books and we've learned that olympic has four sort of zones. environments zones so we've got rainforest coast mountain and forest so today we're exploring the forest and we're gonna go hike to a waterfall yeah hopefully see some other cool stuff too this is crazy. Wow. This isn't even the rainforest. Getting a little dark in here. Yep. Sun's getting low. <laughs> uh, yeah. We did it. We did. We went on a forest hike in Olympic National Park. Saw it was waterfall. great. We saw a beautiful waterfall and we saw the super cool salmon making their way back upstream. What are you looking for? Fish jumping out of the water. They're gonna oh. jump like up because they're trying to go that way. Oh, so we have to go against the stream. Yes. Oh, oh, that's that's <laughs> so if they successfully make it up this waterfall, then they have to go up the next one behind the rock, and over here, and up there. Oh, that was a good one. That was a big And a little one up here to actually get upstream. A lot of challenges for these salmon. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it worked. Nope. We saw a lot of fish. They um, come from Oregon and they swim to British Columbia. We were watching them jump over the waterfalls. Did more succeed or not succeed? Not succeed. <laughs> I learned that as soon as they make their eggs, like at the end of the journey, where they move forward, they just die. That's it. And that there's a bunch of things working against them. The that you have to swim against the current, which, and then you have to, uh, go, they have to jump over the waterfall, and then they probably will struggle, struggle to stay on top of the waterfall, because, because if they go against the current and jump, they probably suck out a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. 
that is like a bucket list item oh for sure that we did not think we were checking off today. Uh-uh. We, I think, what did, it, what did that stop say? Salmon Cascade Exhibit. Exhibit, yeah. So we, I Googled it, like, oh, what's that? Because we were like... We like to Google things along the road. Well, and I could see that there was a waterfall there. So I think maybe we would have stopped to look at the waterfall. Oh, yeah. And I Googled it, and it was like, oh, yeah, they're swimming upstream. They hop up the waterfall. It's really cool. Um, the time of year to see them is late September, early October. We're like... We're here. Today is October 7th. <laughs> so, sure enough, they were doing it. Yeah, and the weather was beautiful, and uh, yeah. It was great. We probably saw one jump, I don't know, what, every like 90 seconds or so? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but so sometimes like, like, like three at a time. Sometimes it was a lot at a time. Sometimes yeah. we had to wait like a few minutes, but... Uh, I don't know if there's more or less than that, but that's what we saw. Was like Which was, like Ann said, a bucket list item. I don't, I got it. I knew they did that. I didn't know if I would ever see anything like that ever. in my life. Yeah. So cool. So, uh, very successful evening in the forest at yeah. Olympic National Park. Right. Headed back to the campground. Ann's Ann's gonna dinner. make us dinner. Maybe. I am. Oh, cool. Today we've come to explore the mountains at Olympic National Park. The mountain panoramic mountain views. So we drove up above the trees and we are in a cloud. In a cloud. Greeted by stunning, beautiful Just views. Totally amazing. In a cloud right now. So what's our plan, Tim? We're gonna, we're gonna get out. We're gonna walk around for a minute or two. Rained on. Just get wet enough to get cold, and then we'll mm -hmm. be done. I almost blinded my blue eyes. I think I okay, we found the trailhead. We were not at the trailhead before. Everyone got a little bit wet for no reason. Oh, a sugar here, so that's good. We are back to the car. We turned around about halfway because it we were not it got foggier and, and so rainier, too. rainier and so we figured we would get to the end and not be able to see anything, so we just kind of you know, cut our losses and headed back to the car. So that's that's what we did. Very very rainy, very foggy, nice. but a very nice trail. Beautiful trail. We I don't know if we talked about it, but like, paved like newly paved trail the whole way. Um, very nice, and it would look it looks like you would have amazing views if you had views. If there were views. Yeah. So we'll see what we get up to next, but we're we'll probably headed back to our camper and cutting cutting today short. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um glad we did the hike. Get a little exercise. And if we come back and do it again, uh you can watch that right now. We're back. But, but we can see stuff out there. But it's still raining and cloudy. In fact, uh, it's a much better view today. <laughs> I mean, it's sunny over there. Mm -hmm. The drive up was prettier. Yeah, I think this is what you get though. We're in Washington. Olympic National Park and they, it rains here a lot. So, we're gonna see what we can see out here. Well, that was unexpected. We got to the top and we're looking at water. Canada. And Canada across the water. The campground's right over there somewhere. See the boat? Oh, water. See, looks okay, good. Okay, yes. Okay. Let's see what we see out here. Mount Olympus. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, this is not the day for seeing Mount Olympus from here. Here it is. All right, we're going back down. It's pretty cold and windy up here. I can see my shadow. Barely. The sun is out. It is. We're not in the rain. We're not in a cloud. Cloud and wind has kind of dissipated. I feel like we successfully accomplished the mountain oh my God, region yeah. of Olympic National check, Park. Check that box. We check. saw, um, even though it was cloudy, foggy, the whole thing, yeah. we still were able to see the glaciers on the, the mountain. Glaciers, yeah. yeah. We saw the water. We didn't see, you know, Mount Olympus and that in the distance. That's okay. I don't know. So mountain region. Check, what's next? Uh, well, what do we do before the forest region? Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the other ones? The, the coast rainforest. and the rainforest. What was the second one? The coast and the coast rainforest. Coast and rainforest. Oh, yeah, we're doing those too, I guess. Yeah. Well, All we right. think. We don't know. We have to see what the where the day takes us. All right. So today's Wednesday. So we're doing all this so far after work. Um, but then we have uh, Saturday wide open to explore, uh, which we're going to be going to the rainforest. So that's coming up. All right. What up, YouTube? Back here with your boy Tim. We're at another entrance station for a national park. This time it's Olympic National Park, Ho Rainforest Edition. Come join us. <laughs> Okay, we've made it to back to Olympic National Park, but this time we're at the whole rainforest, um, which appears to be kind of the gem of the Olympic, Olympic National Park. Um, kind of busy today, it's Saturday. Um, kinda, we got lucky and found a parking spot right away, but a lot of people still circling. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna do uh, a couple hikes here. Um, there's two or three fairly short hikes from the visitor center. Uh, take you along and you know, see what we see. See that? See spider web, they're very strong. It's a spider web, they're full oh, of water. <laughs> That's so weird. What do you see, Kyle? That tree. And that ladder. And that tree. <laughs> It's like wet carpet. I feel like it's what is it? Club moss. Club moss, yeah. It's how to do that. Uh, how to drop on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we were at the ranger station, I saw a sign that said it's been 1,286 days since the last Bigfoot sighting. Sometimes when uh, big trees fall over, that since some seeds can't grow on the forest floor, they have to grow on the stump so that they, um, that they can grow off the stump and only a few seeds survive. As you can see here, those are the only few trees that survived that process. <laughs> so. Trees can grow out of other trees. Okay. Do you remember what the trees are called that they're growing out of? Um, 
There's logs. There's logs. Good job. Thanks, Carl. And then there's more trees growing out on the top of it. The system of all these nurse logs and the trees that they've grown is completely crazy. Like, fascinating. Love it. 10 out of 10. That's great. Okay, we did it. We made it to the coast. It might actually kill us. Let's look at this thing behind me. Isn't that cool? It may actually kill us. This park involves a lot, lot of driving. We're headed back to the campground from a rainforest. We're probably still 70 miles away. We had to take this little detour. When I say little, it's a 40 minute detour, I believe. 45. To say, we did hit up all four regions of Olympic National Park. Beautiful coastline, beautiful beach. Glad we came. Okay, that's gonna be a wrap, I think, from Olympic National Park. Not done yet with Washington State. So stay tuned, come back next week. See what we get up to next time. Okay, we're here in Forks. What's the, what do we know about Forks? Uh, two things. Number okay. one, featured in Twilight. Number two, rainiest, supposedly the rainiest town in North America or the United States or some. It's cloudy like 350 that. days a year yeah, or something. something. Like that, yeah. Lies. Not today. Not today. Yep. It's fine.